You can almost hear the hustle and bustle of students gathering, talking, and rushing to get to class. Ah, oh, what a magnificent place this once was. The very epicenter of learning here in Appalachia. Truly, nothing is as valuable as a good education. It certainly will. And not just for the rebuilding of structures, machines, and other scientific and technological pursuits. We must also repair the fabric of our society and our culture. We must embrace the history, art, music, literature, and philosophy. Why, our mission must be nothing short of reclaiming that which makes us civilized. So, what brings you here to the hallowed halls of vault University? Uh, searching for knowledge? Uh, foraging for supplies? Or perhaps some secret mission you can't talk about? Not only have I seen her, we had a pleasant conversation just a short while ago. She went inside the school. I do hope she's safe. Ask away. Up north, Connecticut, a small town called Monroe, named for the fifth president of the United States. It was quite lovely, especially in the autumn. My wife and I used to ride the bicycle trails on Sundays and then visit the local brewery for a pint. Ah... I do miss those days, and I miss my Millie. May she rest in everlasting peace. Uh, that's a bit of a story. Not long after the war, I lost my wife Millicent to cancer, likely brought on by the radiation. Every day I questioned whether to go on living at all. Without her... The days were empty, devoid of any purpose beyond the simple need to survive. But in time, once I'd learned to adapt to living in the world after the bombs, I decided to set a new goal for myself. I set out to visit those great American centers of learning that still remained intact. I've always felt at home in such places. And so, here I am. At least for a while. I was a teacher. History and literature were my subjects. It always brought me great joy to illuminate the eager minds of children. Well, for the few who are interested at any rate, high school students are easily distracted, I'm afraid. Well... I'd start by saying that without vault humanity would be lost. The vault saved precious lives and gave us a chance to rebuild. Now, we all heard about the rumors and controversies. But what large corporation doesn't have to cope with such things from time to time? As far as I'm concerned, the only real blemish on vault record is the rather shameless corporate branding on display here at VTU. Very well. Was there anything else? Certainly. It was a genuine pleasure. Ah, hello again.
Intruder. <clears throat> Identify yourself. Overseer's personal journal. Four years of living, learning, and breathing Vault Tech. Graduating with honors in the Overseer track. Dad was so proud. He came out even though he was already so sick. I must have impressed the right people because I was offered the next available Overseer slot. I had just graduated. It was supposed to take years. Maybe they knew the war was inevitable. When I learned that 76 was going to be built, I was so excited I jumped right out of my chair and did a little dance around the living room. Appalachia would be safe, no matter what happened. Evan chose that moment to propose, a lughead. He knew I wouldn't say no after hearing the news. He knew me better than anyone. Dad died a few months after Evan and I moved in together. He really wanted to walk me down the aisle. Well, I didn't really get to walk down there either, so... Uh, I think it's time I went home. I owe Evan that much. Overseer's personal journal. Vault 76 was built to take the best and the brightest. But that wasn't what all the vaults were for. The Societal Preservation Program. I wasn't supposed to know about it. But when I found out, Evan wanted me to tell the press. But I didn't. <sighs> yes. Experimenting on vault residents was ethically wrong, but the goal of finding the most suitable people to repopulate, to understand humanity pushed to the extremes, what if that was the only way for us to survive? We can't save everyone. That's what they always told us. And I thought, I still think, they were right. Vault Tech found out that I knew. I thought I was going to be fired or arrested, but instead they confided in me. Vault 76 was going to be a control vault. No experiment. I was so relieved, but they told me I was going to be assigned to Vault 101 in Washington, D.C. I had to leave West Virginia. My people, behind. I couldn't let them do that. No matter what it took. I'm so sorry, Evan. I wish I could say I would have made another choice. 
that I would have picked dying in this house together when the bombs fell. I never stopped thinking about you. And I'm not giving up until I find out what happened. If you're not here, then there's only one other place you'd want to be. The mines. Can you make it quick? I got better things to do than talk to you. If I answer them, will that get you to leave me alone? Well, can't you see? We're in the graveyard that is the town of Welch. Except this town started dying way back before the bombs fell. Thanks to those damn robots taking our jobs and ruining the economy. To make matters worse, AMS came in acting like they owned the place when some ultrasite popped up in Welch. They wanted to take away people's homes. All the man cared about was making a quick buck. Didn't care at all about anything else. Some good those bucks did them in the end, huh? Some sort of radioactive material that none of us should be messing with, if you ask me. I don't trust the stuff. Don't we have enough problems with radiation as it is? Atomic Mining Services. Revolutionaries of the mining industry. Wrecker of jobs everywhere in Appalachia. Somehow those idiots thought it would be a good idea to use nuclear bombs to dig deeper into mines. I'd really rather not talk about them much more. Or we could not. I do mind, in fact. But if it'll get you to leave me be, I suppose I could tell you a little bit. The name's Dylan. I was a miner here in Welch before the robots stole our jobs. I was born in this town, and I'd like to die in this town. Even though the work was harder, honest sweat is better than those bucket of bolts. It taught kids character. Now look where we are. People are out here killing each other over damn junk like sugar bombs just to survive. Look around you, kid. What part of this world we're living in makes you think someone should be upbeat and happy? Everyone I ever loved and cared about is dead. Even the town I lived most of my years in is gone. Can't you see I'm retired? So it's time to live the retired life. I'm just gonna relax right here, drink some whiskey, and wait for the end. Can you hurry it up? For now, how about forever? Overseers. Overseers personal journal. I found him. Evan. He's down there. Just like I thought he'd be. But I... I didn't think he'd be one of those things. The green lesions on his face that... Oh, God. I did this to him. 
it's all my fault. They told me I could have Vault 76, but not if I was married. They would have had to give Evan a spousal exemption and give him space in the vault. But there was someone more qualified. A civil engineer, someone with the skills to help rebuild. He was a distant cousin of a vault tech executive and almost made the cut. 76 was for the best and brightest. And Evan didn't qualify. Deep down, I knew they were right. So I broke off the engagement. I sacrificed him for the vault, for Appalachia. I know what I have to do, but, but I just can't. I love him. I already killed him once. I can't do it again. Please. I gave 76 everything. You were all so brilliant. The first few years were hard, but we learned to trust each other. You learned to trust me. I was young. So young. Younger than most of you. But you accepted me as your overseer. So I need you to do this for me. Let Evan rest. He didn't deserve any of this. The scorched, eliminating this plague. It's not just about survival now. It's personal. We have to secure the nukes. Wipe this disease off the map. Looks like it might rain later.